What are the top 10 PsyD programs that I would recommend you look into attending? Stick around and find out today on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up everybody, my name is Dr. J. Phoenix Singh and I want to warmly welcome you to this episode of Navigating Academia, your leading source for guidance on how to advance your career in academia. Now before we get started, as always, I appreciate the love. So please do take a minute to like this video, share it with your friends, colleagues, and students, subscribe to our channel, Hit the bell so that you get notifications every time that we post a new video and share this post on social media so as many people as possible can benefit from the information. Finally, if you want to follow us on social media, you can do so at these accounts. So let's jump right in. At the time of making this video, at the end of 2019, there are officially 96 PsyD clinical psychology programs in the United States that are accredited by the American Psychological Association, also known as the APA. Now, you'll know if you've watched other videos on this channel, which I recommend you doing if you're interested in potentially attending a PsyD program, uh, that I really only recommend you attend a program if it is currently accredited and in good standing with the APA. It is absolutely critical. Avoid programs where either it's kind of on the fence whether or not they're going to get approved for APA approval, uh, and certainly if they haven't gotten approved ever, then you really need to be careful, even if they say that they've applied, that's a high risk situation. So, when going through literally one by one each of these 96 programs for you, what I notice is that really you can separate them out into two broad categories. The first category are kind of big name schools. Now there's not many of them, but there are a few that you most likely will have heard of. Either they're state schools or they're private institutions, but they're ones that you would know. They're kind of big name schools, right? And it's really rare, to be honest with you, to have a PsyD, pro to have a PsyD program at a big big name school. Just remember that PsyD programs, they're newer forms of degrees and because of that, a lot of these universities, especially so-called R1, so Research One universities, they're used to operating within a different sphere, which is in clinical psychology PhD programs. So it's one of these things where it's going to take time for these things to be able to kind of get out there more. I still remember the first time I heard about PsyDs, which was about 15 years ago. Uh, and let me tell you, this was like such a new concept. Really nobody knew what to make of it. So the fact that now some bigger name universities are taking the plunge, that really should suggest something, okay? Uh, and then the second group of uh, programs that I found were ones that really focus on kind of unique schools. So for example, professional schools, as they call them, uh, and those are privatized institutions. Uh, but what I did is that I picked six big name schools that when I read about the program seemed really quite promising and ones that if I was currently considering doing a PsyD, these are the ones that I would consider attending, okay? And then four of these more unique independent schools that I will also mention. I'll give you some of my justification for those specifically. In terms of the big name schools though, the ones that I would really consider, uh, the first one would be Pepperdine University, which I'm sure you've heard of. The second one is Hofstra University, which I have a huge amount of respect for. The third is Rutgers. The fourth is Baylor University. The next one is University of Colorado at Denver, so state school. And the final one is George Washington University. I'm in Washington, D.C., so I know GW very well, even though it is very expensive. It is a school with a great reputation. So those are the six big name schools that I would recommend looking into. Again, just to list them off for you, Pepperdine, Hofstra, Rutgers, Baylor, UC Denver, and finally, GW, so George Washington University. Those are the six that I would recommend you looking into. If you look at this li list of 96, which you're gonna be able to find off the APA website, there are a ton more, just a ton. But are the universities with particularly big names? 
Not from my perspective, right? Uh, I'm sure that some of them are wonderful and real diamonds in the rough. I, I'm certainly not saying that they're not, but these are the ones that jumped out to me that if you were to ask my professional opinion, that's what it would be, okay? And then in terms of four uh, schools that are not kind of the big name schools, but really specialize inside these, um, the four of them that I would recommend, the first one is the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Um, I would recommend it not only because it's been around for a hot second, it's really been around for a while, and has a variety of different programs that are subspecialties, like a forensic psych subspecialty, for example. Things where it kind of like helps you drill down and not only focus on kind of, you know, psych just in general, so I really like that. that they split up course loads and they, they really focus on clinical practicum and practical information. I have a lot of respect for that. That, so I like that they do that, but also because I know the faculty at a variety of their different uh, campuses, including those in Washington, D.C., in Chicago, and out in California. They have several campuses, and I know some of the deans, and they're really good. Uh, so I would recommend Chicago School of Professional Psych if you're looking to do a PsyD and looking to not go to one of those big name schools. The second is Alliant International University. Again, there are so many of them. Uh, this could just be mere exposure effect in terms of me having heard about Alliant so many times. I have worked with them them several times to be able to co-host events um, at their facilities and they are beautiful facilities same with Chicago School they have some just beautiful beautiful buildings and these things um, so I do recommend the lion the third is Palo Alto University the reason why I recommend them is they have this thing called the PGSP Stanford PsyDs Consortium. And this basically means that there's some professors from Stanford who teach in the program. Uh, and also you have the opportunity to go to some Stanford classes. Um, and this to me is just very impressive, especially because of, you know, Look at the pedigree of people at Stanford right now. It's like insane. You've got, you know, your emeritus guys like Zimbardo and, uh, you know, Albert Bandura. You've got these amazing people like Jennifer Eberhard and Claude Steele and these social psychologists who are total game changers in the field. I know a lot of people have done postdocs there and have absolutely loved it. So I just have a lot of respect for Stanford. Um, and having known about Palo Alto for a while and having had a few grad students that have worked for me in summer internships, I can certainly vouch for anecdotally of uh, their quality, so this is why I mentioned them. And finally is something that used to be called the Massachusetts School of Professional Psychology. Now it's called William James College. And I can tell you that having visited there and having lectured there, having organized uh, speeches there, and having spoken to their faculty as well as their administration, very professional shop. A little bit in the middle of nowhere, I have to say, in terms of their main building but gorgeous building. So I definitely can recommend it. Uh, again, looking at their coursework and their commitment to students, they really do a solid job. So when it comes to these more unique schools, these privatized institutions, again, the four that I'm gonna recommend are Chicago School of Professional Psychology, Alliant International University, Palo Alto University, and William James College, in no particular order there. I hope this has helped learning about these top 10 PsyD programs, and I appreciate you stopping by. Please do take a moment to like and share this video with your friends, colleagues, and students. And if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one about what program might be right for you, and additional details that we can drill into to be able to make sure that there's faculty at these schools that would be perfect for you, that they have high match rates, as they call it, in terms of APA-approved practica sites, etc., we can do that one-on-one. -on -one. Simply schedule a consultation call with me via the website below. All right, everybody, signing off. Thank you so much for your time, and remember to get out there, take chances, and be your best self. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here, as always. If you enjoyed this video, and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.